we do on our ball. So I want you to um, focus on the feet being hip distance apart and the knees being above the ankle. So they're not sticking out, they're not rolling in, they're just, and your thighs are parallel. I'm just gonna bounce on the ball and just find the center. Bouncing up and down, just lifting alternate feet up. You can lift both feet off the ground and just find that you're in the center of it. And then take that bounce smaller and smaller and just go side to side. So we push one seat bone down and then the other. Left and then right, left and then right. And then make that movement smaller and smaller so we get the center point. And then go forwards and back. And you might just want to roll, roll it to start with because the bouncing can be quite hard on the sacroiliac joint. So just roll the ball forwards and backwards. So the good thing with the ball is you get a lot more movement in this lower back. So pushing hard back, rolling hard forward. So keeping my waist to the top of my head still. Okay, make that movement smaller and smaller till you find the middle position. Hands on the waist, take the ball to the left and then backwards and we're doing a big circle. Round to the right and then to the front. Over to the left, round to the back, out to the right, round to the front. So doing a nice big movement, really focusing on a clock face on the floor, being even in that circle. So focusing on the corners, the one o'clock, 11 o'clock, seven and five. Now go the other way. Really pushing around. Draw the tummy in as you go forward with the ball. Pull the back muscles in as you go backwards with it. Okay, make that movement smaller and smaller. And then just bounce. Bouncing a little bit to find the center point again. And then drawing in the core, making sure your middle bottom's pointing to the floor. Head up to the ceiling and roll those shoulders. Rolling those shoulders back. Make that movement bigger and bigger. Take the arms, let the hands follow the shoulders. And then pop your hands on your bum or on the top of the ball behind your bum. Squeeze your elbows together and push that chest forward. Take the chin up to the sky. Pushing, squeezing those elbows together behind you. And then releasing and then hands on the hips. And let's just try to lift those, see what the balance is and lift those feet off. So we're going to make sure the middle bottom's pointing to the floor. Lift the left heel up off the ground. My toes are still touching. Put that down. Lift the right heel up. My toes are still touching the floor. Drop the heel. Lift the left heel up. Toes are still touching. And down. Lift that right heel up, keeping the pelvis still staying, staying in its, its uh, original position. So it's vertical. It's parallel to our, our feet. Sorry, it's at 90 degrees to our feet. Lifting that left heel up and lowering. Lifting that right heel up and lowering. Lift that left heel up. Now take the toes off the floor as well. Try not to slew on the ball like that to lift. You're trying to stay square. Lift that left heel up, foot off the floor. Holding it here and then put that foot down. Lift the right heel up. Those toes up off the floor. Put those feet down. Lift that left heel up. Toes up. And try to straighten that leg. And bend that leg. And put it back down. Keep tall. Don't slump back as you lift. Lift the right heel up. Right foot up. Straighten that right leg. Stay on that middle bottom. Bend that right leg. Lower it down. Left heel up, left foot up, straighten that leg, hold it there. Draw a circle with your foot. Draw a circle the other way with your foot. Bend your knee, pop that foot down. Drawing up tall, lift the right heel up, right foot up, extend the right leg, circle with that foot, circle the other way. Bend that knee and pop that foot down. Okay, hands on the thighs, push the ball hard backwards. Stretch that right leg out in front. Keep the left leg a bit bent and take the, turn the chest to the knee and roll your hands down that leg. Roll your hands down that leg, feel the stretch. If 
The knee's still a bit bent, you can slide that right foot forward. Both hands are on my calf, and I'm gonna roll the ball to the right. Feel the stretch down the outside of the leg a bit. And then I'm gonna pull the ball towards the left foot and roll it to the left and feel the stretch down the inside of the leg. And while I'm moving the ball, I'm gonna feel the stretch in my lower back as well. Roll the ball over to the right. Turn my head towards the left and then roll my, the ball towards the left, turn my head so it's going the outside of that front leg. Good, rest the fingers on the floor if you can and pull those toes up towards you. Push the right toes away from you. Pull the right toes up, push them away. Hands on the thighs again. Sit yourself up and bring that leg in. Okay, slide your left leg out. <coughs> Slide your hands down that leg, trying to straighten this leg. Pushing my thigh, down, my tummy button down towards my thigh. Slide this foot forward a little bit if you need to, to feel the stretch in the hamstring. Roll the ball outwards to the left, turn the head towards the right foot. And roll the ball across to the left foot, the right foot, sorry, and turn the head left. Rolling the ball out and rolling the ball in. Good, rolling the ball out and rolling it in. Okay, holding it here. Pull the toes up towards your nose. Push the toes away. You can put your fingers on the floor to stop yourself sliding. Pull the toes up. Push the toes away. Pull the toes up. Push them away. Okay, walk your hands up your thigh, come to sitting up, sitting up. All right, sitting square. We're gonna stretch the inner thigh. So take the feet apart, hands on the front of the ball, bend yourself forwards, put your hands on the floor. So start with the knees bent, and then we slide those legs straight. So we slide down the front of the ball. So I'm moving down to the front of the ball. My bum's not on the top. I've got my hands resting on the floor. I'm trying to be a neutral spine with my back. Trying to be a neutral spine. So you've got to come right, so you've got quite a big, if you've got a big ball, um, you want to come forwards off the edge of it. So the ball's just propping up under your, under your crutch. So look at your feet and make sure they're parallel. The midline of the feet is parallel. Then we've got the toes turning out and we're trying to get the outside of the foot staying on the floor. Just bend that right knee a little bit and walk the hands towards that right foot. And feel the stretch on the inner thigh on the left leg. And then straighten that right leg and bend the left one and walk the hands over towards the left leg. Feeling that the inner thigh on the left side. Stretch that chest forward so you're pushing your breastbone between your arms. And then walk the hands back to the middle and let those legs slide out a little bit further. So you just should be propped up by the ball. That's good. Keep your chins up so that your head, so you haven't got a big bend in your neck. Nice straight neck with your spine. <clears throat> and then walk your feet, your hands back towards the ball and walk your feet in towards your hands and then sit yourself back up. Okay, turning around sideways on the ball. I'm turning towards my left. So I've got my left foot forward and my right leg back. And I'm just sitting side saddle on the ball. So sitting up tall, I'm gonna tuck my crutch under me so that my pubic bone's forward and I feel the stretch down, down the front of this back leg. Sitting just on there, put my left hand on the back of the ball and I can just push on that to keep the ball from rolling towards the, the, my legs. So feeling a stretch here in the front of this thigh. If I want, I can pull that back, pull this back knee forward without moving it, just tensing it against the edge of the ball and feel some pressure here. I can then release that, push the, put the right arm up into the air and push that right arm all the way over your body. Pushing that right leg back, the right ankle back as if I'm trying to push the heel onto the floor. 
reaching up and over, reaching up and over. And then release that arm, turn to face the front, and then swivel round onto the other side. So I'm facing the right foot, the right foot, resting on the side here, tucking my bottom under me, pulling this back knee in towards the edge of the ball, lifting those shoulders up nice and tall, or drawing in the core. Take this left arm up in the air, release the push of the leg into the ball. And then just push that left arm into the sky over the top of the body and allow the stretch all the way down that left hand side and through that hip flexor. Stretching, stretching, stretching. And reaching. And release. Okay, come around to facing the front again. Give yourself a little bit of space. We're going to roll ourselves forwards and lay on the ball. So walk your legs away. And lie so that the ball's in your on your kind of bra strap area, and you can just get your head onto the ball. So our knees are bent, palms drop down towards the floor, just rest, just curving the bag around the ball. So starting off, we're just going to stretch, uh, stretch the chest and and give the back a bit of freedom. So lowering the bum to the floor, let that head rest on the. Again, we're not putting the bum on the floor, just. Bending the knees a bit and rocking that head just from side to side. Give that neck a bit of a stretch. Now push the legs straighter and um, feel the ball go over towards your bottom. Your head go down towards the floor. Pull, pull the ball towards your feet and come back. So just go forward and back a bit so that we don't get too dizzy and all the blood rushing to our head. And then straightening the legs and then bending the legs. Let our arms hang out like a scarecrow out to the side. You feel the stretch in the chest. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Just go forwards and back. And then take those arms up to over the head if you can. All the way up and see if you can get them to touch the floor over the head. So we're reaching, pushing those fingers away from the toes. Really, really pushing. Lengthen that head. I'm staying with my legs straight. If you don't want to stay here, that's fine. I'm just rocking my head gently side to side and then bending my knees and letting myself lower my bum to the ground. And then go the other way. One more, really pushing those fingers away and really stretching over that ball, letting, feeling the muscles in the tummy really stretch. Feel those chest muscles stretch. Pull the chin away. Eyes up to look at the floor and then release, come back up. So come so that your head is on the top of the ball and your shoulders are on the top of the ball, bones hanging down, knees are bent, make sure the feet are parallel. We're going to squeeze with the bum and lift this up into a bridge. Squeeze the bum, lifting it up and then ease the bum and lower. Clench the bum and lift. Ease the bum and lower. Clench the bum and lift. Ease the bum and lower. Clench it and lift. <clears throat> Hold us up here. Now focus on your feet. Are they evenly on the floor? Your little toe, big toe, ball of your foot. Are you, do you feel like your feet are parallel? Are your knees above your ankles? Are they hanging out to the side? Keep that bum squeezed. Take the arms out like a scarecrow. Rolling the ball over towards the left shoulder. So the right shoulder is kind of coming off, but not that far. So you're just moving it a few inches. Feel the weight in that right foot. Roll the ball back to center. I'm only moving the ball a few inches. Roll the ball over to the right shoulder. Left shoulder comes off. Feel, feel the load in the left uh, glutes. Ball back to center. Roll it over to the right. Roll over towards the right. Pulls under the left shoulder, back to centre, roll all over to the uh, left, so the ball's under the right shoulder, weights in the left glutes, come back to centre, okay, one more on each side, over we go, back to centre, and then over, so the bum should be off the ball, clench your bum, should be lifted off, lifted up, Pushing into those hip flexors. Good. 
back to center. Hands on your hips, just release the bum and let it drop down to give it a bit of a stretch and then curling. So tummy tight, tilting the pelvis, curl the bottom up. So we're up into a bridge again. Release and curl back down and round the ball. And then peeling the bum up and the back off and lifting up. Okay, hands on the hips, keep that, keep your bum level with your waist, your waistband, thumbs up high. Roll the ball over towards the right hand side, or you're rolling, you are rolling towards your right foot. Lift the left heel up. Rolling towards the right foot, lift that left heel up. Put that left heel down. Roll over towards the left foot. Lift that right heel up, keep your hips up high. Put that right heel down, roll over towards the, roll the ball towards, roll yourself towards the right, lift that left heel up, put the weight in that right foot. Soft with the right toes, left heels up, try to lift that left foot up off the floor. If you need to, you can take your hands up like a scarecrow and pop those right fingers just touching the ground and lift that left foot up. Put that left foot down, keep those hips up. Glide yourself over to the left, lift the right heel up. Left fingers can touch the floor. Lift that right foot off the floor. Put that right foot down. Glide, roll yourself over towards the right. Right fingers on the ground, push that right heel into the floor. Lift that left leg up. Put that left leg down, glide over towards the left, left hand can touch the floor. Push off that, lift those left toes up, lay the weights in the heel and take the right foot off the floor. Good, pop that right foot down, roll back to centre, lower your bum down around the ball and lift that head up, walk your feet towards the ball and sit yourself up. Walk your feet towards the ball and sit yourself up, good. Okay, just be gentle, you might be a bit lightheaded. So forwards and back with the ball, just loosening, loosening up, forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards. Okay, side goes left, right, and then one circle one way, one circle the other way. Just loosen that back up, roll those shoulders. Okay, bring your ball towards a wall or towards something that you can put your feet against. And we're just gonna do a few, a bit of core work. So, put my toes against the wall, against this uh, sofa. So I'm sitting on the front edge of the ball, sitting up nice and tall, middle bottom pointing to the floor. Roll those shoulders back, bring my arms up in front. Linking my fingers, I'm just gonna Tuck my pelvis under me and roll back down to, to flat. We're just going to lie flat on the ball. So I'm horizontal to the floor. Breathing in on the out breath, chin into the chest and roll myself up. Good, up to tall. Roll those shoulders back. Tuck the pelvis under you and curling down to flat on the ball. So imprint your back in the ball. Don't let the ball push you around. Stay flat. Neutral spine, tummy staying engaged. Breathing in on the out breath, chin into the chest. Roll and sit yourself up. Good, breathing in on the out breath, tucking under and down to flat. On the in breath, rolling back up. Breathing in on the out breath, rolling back down to flat. And then breathing in Breathing out, rolling all the, up, all the way back up. Good, rolling all the way down. And then take those hands up to the sky. So we're flat on the ball, arms are pointing straight to the sky. Bring that arms down, point them to our knees. Bring the arms up, take them up to the sky. Bring them down, point them to our knees. Roll yourself back up. Sitting up tall, 
arms horizontal, breathing in. On the out breath, rolling down to flat. Take your arms up to the sky. Take your arms over to the left and let the ball, let your body roll, roll onto the left hand side. Come back up to center. Take your arms over to the right and let the ball roll onto the right hand side. Bring those arms back to center. Over to the left. Up to center. Over to the right. Up to center. One more. To the left. Up to center. Keep your knees bent. And over to the right. And up to center. Okay, we're laying flat, hands towards the knees, chin into the chest, roll and sit yourself up. Sit yourself up, arms horizontal, push the bum backwards into the ball, tuck under, just get a bit of movement in that lower back. Okay, arms are horizontal, rolling down to flat, keep the hands towards the knees, we roll to flat, and now release your body all the way over the ball. Breathe in at the bottom here, breathe out, chin into the chest and curl yourself all the way back up to sitting. Good. Curl yourself all the way back down over the ball. The back of your head touches the ball. Keep the knees bent, chin into the chest, roll yourself all the way back up to sitting. Up to, curl yourself all the way down over the ball. So as my, the back of my head touches the ball, I pull my knees towards the wall or the sofa so I don't go head first onto the floor. Chin into the chest, roll yourself all the way back up to sitting. And as I sit, I push, my, push the ball away from the, my feet a bit to keep my bum on it, curl myself down over it. Curling down, breathing in, breathing out, curling all the way back up. Up to one more, all the way down, going all the way over, staying over here, and you can take your arms over your head. Take your arms all the way over your head, breathing in. I bend my knees quite a lot so I don't fall off the ball. Bring my arms up to the sky, chin into the chest, rolling all the way up. So the more weight you take over the ball, okay, you're going to turn onto your left hand side. The more weight you take over the ball, obviously you've got to bend your knees to keep weight on that side. So we're on our side on the ball, fingers on our shoulders, turning around the ball, and then lifting back up. Curling around, and lifting back up. Curling around, Lifting back up. Straighten the right arm out. Curling around, take the right arm over the head. Reach towards the wall behind us. Take the arm all the way up and lifting back. All the way over. All the way back. Two more. All the way over. All the way back. And over. And back, good. Turning ourselves to straight and turning around onto the other side. Fingers on the shoulders, curling around the ball and lifting back up. Curling around and lifting back. Curling around. Take that left arm in the sky, bring it over the head and lifting back up and point to the wall. Going down and around and back. So you make it easier by leading with the hand, you make it harder by leading with the ribs as it were. And the arm just adds extra weight. Good. And one more. Reaching and coming back up. Okay, turning to face the ball. Right, we are now going to go onto our knees on the floor. So if you need to get something softer to kneel on, or you want to get a mat, 
and a half off the ball. So we're going to kneel behind the ball. So focus on the knees being hip distance apart. Shin bones are parallel, feet are hip distance apart behind on the tops of our feet. Hands are on the, on the front edge of the ball and the ball is close to our side, our thighs. Roll those shoulders back. And then we're just gonna keep the elbows here and roll, lean the body forward to rest on the elbow. So we're in a plank, nice and straight. Now to come back up, I push my fists into the ball and I come back up. So I go down onto my elbows. I'm not going back like that with my bum. My bum stays forward, push the fists into the ball, come back up. Good. Rolling down and forward, pushing with the fists and coming back up. Rolling down with the ball. So at this uh, Anki and Sarah, I can't see you side on, which is fine, but just make sure that your bum is staying forward as you come back up. That you're using your shoulders and your tummy muscles. Down, push with those fists into the ball to come back up. Go and keep your hips forward, Sarah. Down. And push with those shoulders to come back up. Perfect. Okay, down. Now we're in this position. Push the ball forward. Bring the ball back in. Push the ball forward. Bring the ball back in. Push forward. So hold it forward without lowering the body. Keep your body up. Yeah, pull the ball back in. Well done. Roll the ball forward. Bring it back in. So you don't have to take it so far. You can just go here, just a few inches. Just there and back. If you're feeling brave, you take it further away. And back. So to keep your hips forwards. Hip forwards, out and back. And then let's push the hands and the ball and come up and have a rest. Okay, back into child pose, bum on the floor. Let the ball go out the front. Rest that lower back. Stretch those buttocks, roll the ball to the left. Stretch down the right side. Roll the ball to the right, stretch down the left side. Bring the ball back to the center. Okay, coming back up. So, just do what the priority, we're gonna do that again. The priority is the torso stays straight from the top of the head through the shoulders, through the bum, down to the knees. So do as much as you can do. So some of you can push the ball a lot further away than others. So just do keep your torso straight. So hands, my hands are in prayer on the edge of the ball. So I'm gonna go down onto my elbows and I push the ball just away an inch or a couple of inches or three inches. But I gotta stay straight, pull the ball back, push the ball away. Just do five of them. Pull it back, that's two. Out and back, that's three. Sandra, hips forward. Out and back, four. Out and back, five. Push the fists into the ball, come back up. Okay, this time we're gonna go down and out with the ball. So bring the ball in closer. Roll yourself down and push the ball away. And then pull the ball back in and come back up. If you want to challenge yourself, you bring your hands down, to, down closer to your knees. Then the ball's further away from you all the time. If you're happy to stay, if, you'll get, if that's too difficult, you keep your hands towards the top of the ball and you just go down so more of your arm is on the ball. Good. Good. Shoulders back, everybody. Good. Three more. Rolling down, go out as far as you can, bring it back. And again. All the way out, engage with that bum, bring it back. Okay, one more. All the way down. And bring it back. And go down into the child pose. Push those shoulder hands away. Rocking the ball to the left. 
rocking the ball to the right. And then bring yourself back up. Okay, just slide that mat. Actually, the mat's probably fine. Right, we're going to lie on top of the ball. So bring the ball close to you, belly on it, roll yourself forwards. So we're in a sort of Superman-ish pose. Hands are on the floor under the shoulders, middle fingers parallel. Roll those shoulders back, turn the inside of the elbows towards the front, lengthen your head away from the shoulders. Breathing in, on the out breath, clench the bum, lift the left leg straight up off the ground. Lower the left leg down. Clench the bum, lift the right leg straight up off the ground. Lower it down. Left leg up and down. Clench the bum, right leg up and down. Keep those front inside of the elbows pointing forward. Left leg up and down. Right leg up and down. So I'm pushing my tummy into the ball to make my lower back in neutral. Squeeze with the bum, lift the left leg up, bend that left knee. Bend the knee so the foot's flat to the ceiling. Push the heel to the sky. Stretch those hip flexors. Two, push, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Straighten the leg. Take the toe to the floor. Squeeze and lift. Toe to the floor. Squeeze and lift. Keep everything still except that leg. Lift and down. Lift and down. Two more. Lift and down. One more. Lift and down. Release that leg. Okay, right leg. Squeeze and lift. Touch to the floor. Squeeze and lift. Touch to the floor, squeeze and lift. Touch to the floor, squeeze and lift. Touch to the floor, squeeze and lift, hold it there. Bend that uh, right leg, so my left toes are on the floor still. Push that foot up to the sky and ease. Up to the sky, resting is the thigh is horizontal to the floor. Lift and ease, lift and ease, lift and ease. Lift, ease one more. Lift, ease. Straighten that leg, it's horizontal. Touch the toe down. My camera angle makes it look different. Lift, squeeze, sorry, lower. Lift up to horizontal. Touch the toe on the floor and lift. Down, squeeze the bum and lift. Touch the toe down, squeeze and lift. Down, squeeze and lift. Hold that leg to horizontal. Maybe move the hands away a bit and lift the right leg, to, the left leg to horizontal too. Both legs are off the floor, both legs are horizontal. Roll those shoulders back into the down, your, down and engage them. Turn the elbows forward, middle fingers are parallel. Lengthen those legs. Lift the left leg up, back to horizontal. Right leg up, back to horizontal. Left leg to horizontal, right leg to horizontal. The bum is the only thing bending, it's not your lower back. Right leg, left leg, right leg, left leg. Hold the legs straight, push those toes away from you, clench the thighs, roll the shoulders back and down, lengthen the head and neck. Holding yourself here, lowering both toes to the floor, releasing the bum. Clenching the bum and lifting, releasing the bum and lowering. Clenching the bum and lifting. Releasing and lowering. Susie, tighter with your tummy muscles so you're not using your lower back. Lift and straighten. You shouldn't feel this in your lower back. Lift, it's all bum. Tighten with the bum. Ease with the bum. Squeeze and tighten with the bum. Ease with the bum. Squeeze and tighten. Holding the legs here. Walk your hands forwards a little bit along the floor so the ball comes under the thighs. Lowering the head down to the ground and up. Lowering the head down, legs come up, back to horizontal. Lowering the head down, legs come up, back to horizontal. Lowering the head down, legs come up, 
back to horizontal. You have to move it around so the board is in the balance point. Lowering down, legs come back up to horizontal. Walk your hands back so the feet are touching the ground again. And walk yourself, okay, take yourself off the ball. Let's come backwards. And then let's just stretch that lower back out. Stretch that lower back. I'm going to do the back extension the other way, but you're probably going to have to move so on your feet against the wall. A wall or a piece of furniture, put your heels against, and then you come down onto your belly on the ball. So your hip bone is on the ball. Hip bone is on the ball. Heels against the wall or whatever. So first of all, nice and straight. So we're pushing from the heel to the bum to the shoulders, so tummies engaged, bums engaged. Roll those shoulders back, hold them back. Bring those hands in front of you. Release those shoulders so the hands touch the floor. And then squeeze those shoulder blades together and pull those arms out wide. Bring those hands together in front of you. Squeeze those shoulders together, bring those hands out wide. Release the hands in front. Squeeze and lift them up. Release and lower. Squeeze and lift. Now lower the whole body over the ball so my chin touches it. Breathe in on the out breath, set the arms out wide and lift that body up, squeezing with the bum. Ease everything down and lower. Squeeze and lift. Ease and lower. Squeeze and lift. Ease and lower. Squeeze and lift, ease and lower. Two more. Squeeze and lift, ease and lower. One more. Squeeze and lift, hold yourself here and lift those arms up higher to the sky. So arms back, one, two. Tighten the tummy, tighten the bum. Four, five, and lower back down onto your tummy. Let yourself hang over the ball. Let those back muscles stretch. Let those shoulders stretch. And then walk yourself up. And we're going to lie down on the floor. So lying down on the floor. On your back. Lying on the floor on your back with your feet on the ball. Feet on the ball. Palms down by your side. <clears throat> so, legs out straight. Pull the ball into your bum so the soles of your feet go on the floor. Push the ball away. Pull the ball in. Push the ball away. Hold the ball away, roll the shoulders up to the ears, down into the floor, slide your fingers down to your, towards your waist, towards your, your knees and feet. Breathing in on the out breath, curl that bum up, lift your body up into a plank or into a bridge, sorry, off the ball, off the floor. Push those fingers towards the ball, lengthen the head and neck, breathing in. On the out breath, curl the body back down to flat, keep those shoulders on the ground. Arch the back at the bottom, breathing in. On the out breath, curl, flatten the back in the floor, lift the tailbone up, up into a straight line. Push those fingers down towards the ball, lengthen that head and neck, breathing in. On the out breath, curling all the way back down again. Arching at the bottom, breathe in, breathe out, lifting all the way back up again. All the way back up. Reaching those fingers towards the ball, breathing in on the out breath, curling all the way back down again. Arching at the bottom, breathe in, curling all the way back up. Hold yourself here. Push those fingers towards the ball. Bring the ball into your bum. Push the ball away. Squeeze with the bum. Keep it lifted. Bring the ball in. So I'm pushing my elbows into the ground to support myself as well as using my legs. Push the ball away, tightening with the bum. 
exercise come through the bum pushing up, not the knees pulling down. Pull the ball in, lifting the bum up with the, with the glutes, push the ball away. Keep that bum high, feel it in your bum muscles. Pull the ball in, last one. Keep the ball in here and lower the body down to the floor. Lower the body down with the knees bent. Knees bent, body's gone down. Soles of your feet are on the ball. Breathing in, breathing out. Squeeze with the bum and lift back up to that position. Keep the knees bent. Breathing in on the out breath, curling the back all the way back down to the floor. Keep those shoulders on the ground. Arch the back at the bottom. Breathing in on the out breath, curling all the way back up. Lifting, squeeze that thumb high, push those fingers towards the ball. Rolling the body all the way back down to flat. Breathing in at the bottom, one more lift up. Curling, squeezing, lifting up. Squeezing, lifting up. And then rolling all the way back down. Lengthen those legs out, push those feet away. Hands on your thighs, breathing in. Breathing out, rolling all the way up to sitting. So if you've got, if your ball's high, push the ball away a bit so that your feet are down on the edge of it so you haven't got quite such a big reach. Breathing in, rolling all the way down to flat. Breathing out, rolling all the way back up. Touch your heels, push those legs straight. Holding onto the back of your, of your calves if you can. Pull yourself up onto your middle bottom. And then rolling all the way down to flat. Take the arms over the head. Push those fingers away from the toes. Reaching hands to the ceiling. Breathing in, chin into the chest. Rolling yourself all the way up again. Rolling yourself up. Lifting yourself up nice and tall. Lift up nice and tall. Bend at that hip bone. Rolling yourself all the way down again. Lying on the floor here. Bring the ball back in. And put it between your feet. Knees are bent. Put the ball between the feet. So squeeze your legs together so you're holding the ball between your feet. Breathing in, roll the shoulders up to the ears, down into the floor, slide the fingers towards the ball. Neutral spine, so my top ribs on the ground, bottom ribs on the ground, my waistband is slightly elevated. Lift that ball up off the floor. Keep that waistband elevated, don't flatten your back. Lower that ball to the floor. Lift that ball off the floor. Lower that ball to the floor. Lift that ball off the floor. Lengthen the fingers towards the, uh, down towards where the ball was. Lengthen the neck, touch the floor with the ball. Lift the ball up. Keeping that neutral spine, focus on your back. Are your shoulders staying down as the ball goes down? Is your, are your ribs on the floor? Is your waistband lifted slightly? Lifting and down. Okay, lifting, this time hold the ball in the air. Straighten the legs up a bit. You might need to just correct it so it doesn't fall on your nose. Turn the ball to the right. Turn the ball to the left. Turn the ball to the right. Turn the ball left. Turn it right. Turn it left. Keep those shoulders down. One more to the right. One more to the left. Make sure that waistband's not touching the floor. Back to centre. Bend the knees. Put the ball down. Feet on the top of it. Lengthen your legs out and let them stretch. Let them stretch. Bend the knees up, pop your feet off the ball. Take your legs out either side of it, arms over your head. Reaching, 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 fingers away from the toes. Reaching, reaching, reaching. Bring that left knee into your chest. Pull that left knee up. Breathing in on the out breath, pull that left knee over your body. Turn your hands, push your left hand away, left knee on the floor. Turning that head so we're trying to get the left ear on the ground. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Push that left hand away. Roll back onto your back. Pull that left knee in towards your body. Change legs. Bring that right knee in. 
can hold both knees in and just hug your knees to your chest. You can drop both knees outwards, so we stretch that inner thigh. Let that left leg go out straight and keep hold of that right knee. Pull that right knee over your body towards the left. Push that right hand away from you, turning my head towards my right hand. Pushing that shoulder back and down. Turning and pushing, breathing in. And out. Breathing in. And out. Rolling back onto the back, pull that right knee in. Put that right leg on the floor, straighten it out. Push those fingers above the head. Reaching the right hand from the right foot, left hand from the left foot, letting the back arch up slightly as you do so. Take the fingers up to the sky, chin into the chest, roll yourself all the way up. Take your legs apart and taking those hands down, sliding yourself forward on the floor, breathing in and breathing out and try to roll forwards onto your front bottom a bit. Breathing in and out. Now you'll bring yourself up to vertical, bring those legs together. Pull those toes up towards you, push those toes away. Pull those toes up, push them away. Relax your feet, pop your hands on the floor behind you, about half a foot. Roll your shoulders back, squeeze your elbows together and push that chest up to the sky and push that body forward. Breathing in, open the chest, breathe out, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Resting yourself up onto your middle bottom. Roll your shoulders, take your hands all the way up to the sky, all the way up and leave them there, palms together, push those fingers up, look up, look up through your hands with your eyes. Straighten, pushing the chest forward, pushing the heels away. Take those arms out wide, back down to the floor, put them on your thighs and roll your shoulders. Well done. Good work. Another nice stretch, a bit more tummy work. 